Ah, dinky doo, there you all are. It's just me, Scotty McClure, with the Friday night pop-up. How are we this evening? I thought I'd just call in on you, see that you're doing okay, and have a wee chit-chat with you. So there you go, Scotty McClure live, just for you, saying dinky doo, Friday evening. Excellent stuff. A wee pop-up, a Friday evening pop-up, just so that we can chit-chat. Now, I know a lot of you are busy, you're just getting home from work, you're getting into the house, you have lots and lots of different things to do, but I'm sure you can spare just a few minutes for your old chum and come on and have a chit chat with me. Let me know what's happening. Last night's pop up, very, very successful. I see 4,000 of you have seen that. Hi, Scotty, this is Jacqueline McFarlane. Hi, hi, Jacqueline McFarlane. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Brian Morrison says hello. I hope you've all had a good day. James Starks watching Dinky Doo. James, very fine broadcaster. Thomas Stout says hi. Excellent, Thomas. Very good. Usual shout outs. Evening, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. Good evening, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. And, of course, dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue, to all of the nation. Remember, we are global, so people will be watching in Canada and America and Madagascar and Tasmania. Happening, Scotty. You going for a pint tonight, says John Houston. Do you know, John, I'm off the sauce for a couple of years. Just decided to give it up. Evening, Gov, says Rod Hardesty, one of the finest wizards of the big switchboard. Radio has ever experienced. Good evening to you, sir, and welcome, says Joseph Gibbons. You're very welcome, sir. I say to you, evening, says VJ Dukram. Uh, Karmic McCusker is watching. Karmic McCusker, excellent, lovely to have you with us. And um, DD, dinky do, VJ, yes, absolutely. You cut yourself shaving, Scotty. No, John, uh, what I've got, I've got a little bit of psoriasis on the chin there, you've probably noticed it. And uh, when you run the razor over, you usually can, uh, it's just a little bit rough. But there we are. It's not a cut as such. But then again, it is. All right, have you got that? So there you go. Uh, Scotty, did you use a bit for the third time this morning? There you go. Excellent stuff. Very nice. Yes, great shave, of course. Uh, Scott Dixon, are you excited about the new football season starting? Well, as you know, I'm not football's biggest, uh, biggest, most knowledgeable person. But, of course, I'm always excited when something interesting is starting. So there you are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky do to every single one of you this Friday evening. I'm in Tenerife watching, says Fu. Lovely to have you with us. We bit of interruption to the signal there. Uh, Tenerife, very, very nice, of course. Uh, no, I'm not says Brian Dennis. He's not excited about the football. Louise Gemmell's watching. Thank you, Louise. Lovely to have you with us. Andy Hughes says, shared, shared, shared. You'll see it says on the introduction there, share, share, share. I should have a caption up here. I'm not quite sure how to do that. I'll have a look at that and see what's what. Get the old spice in your chin. So there we are. Are you all going to go on about this, for goodness sake? Let us see if we can cover it up. Uh, what about that? Are we something to cover my chin up with to stop you lot going on? Um, I'm just wondering what would be best to cover up McClue's chin. I suppose I could just sort of sit like that, you know, for a while. Celtic so Rangers, says Vinny Kenny, absolutely fitting. One or the other, I always say. Excellent teams. And, um, both, says VJ. Oh, very good, VJ. Yes, good for you. Uh, Keith Watherspoon's watching. Hello, Keith. Thank you, dear, from me, Scotty McClue. Friday night pop-up, folks. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Never mind the chin. What about the side buns? So there you are. The side buns. Yes, a wee one there, of course. They're a bit delicate because I very often have the glasses on. I can prove it to you. But I don't need them for this night. But there we are, you see. So the glasses are usually on. Oh, right. So that's what we get there, folks. Excellent. At least y'all know now. Uh, Scotty's a blue nose. No, no, no. Just, uh, just a wee cut to the chin. Nothing on the nose. The nose is fine. Uh, so there you are. Ken Chauveur is watching. Ken Chauveur. Lovely 
to have you with us. And uh, my friend used to have a douche of her. Very nice. Do you know what a douche of her is? See if you could tell us about that one now. Um, it was Mr. Crossan got it right the other day. My eyes have a cold nose was the thing that had given you all to ponder. My eyes have a cold nose. And of course, my eyes have a cold nose is indeed a guide dog. My eyes have a cold nose. Not an easy one to get there. Wonderful. Scotty, you've got a great face for radio. I love you, man, says Stephen Lawrence. Thanks, Stephen. Yes, I may have an excellent face for radio, but this is the way I look. If anybody's got a problem with that, that's their problem, not mine. So there you go. That's what's happening. Lee Fern and Chris Henry are watching. Welcome, 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 I say. If you've just joined us, Scotty McClue, the Friday night pop-up. Now, tonight, should we ban caravans from our roads in summer, right? Big question here. A lot of accidents with caravans, people that can't drive them. Good to see you back, big man, says Tony Andrews. Thanks, Tony. Lovely to be back. Colin Rogers watching. Dinky do, Colin. Lovely to have you with us, of course. You're all watching Scotty McClue, world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. So there we go. Excellent. I've got some water tonight. <coughs> we touch my throat, you know. Mmm. Mahir, Mahir, were you offering to double glaze my house? When I was showing my picture of the squirrel there, you said you could do with double glazing. And I wondered if you're offering. Sharice is watching. Ha ha! I banned the caravans on the roads. Had three ton in front of me today, says Andy Hughes. Andy Hughes, are you a trucker with a TR? So there you are. Uh, that's no water. That's vodka, says Finn and Kenny. Well, maybe you should know. Uh, there she is. Rock Lomond. Yes, especially trailer ones should be a new test made with a specific requirement to drive them. So somebody saying you should actually have a test to drive a caravan. Phil, caravan. You don't drive caravans. No, you don't. So there we are to tow. I think it would be your Phil Caravan, and we're talking about caravan. One letter, different. Maybe have an extra test for caravans, like HGV 1 and 2. I would go along with that. I think we could do with that, actually, guys. To be quite honest, I'm just going to do a wee bit of sharing with you. If you can all share, share, share. Take Sharice out, Scotty. Do you mean take her out for the night, or take her out from the program. Shall we miss that there? Sorry I'm late, Scotty. I had to get the high dusting done, says Mahir. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent stuff, Mahir. Very good to hear from you. What I'm doing, guys, I'm sharing. Have you shared? See if you can share as soon as possible. Responded to Sharice. Lol, says John. Uh, Carl Carlos Donnelly is watching. Carl Carlos, lovely to have you with us. We should not ban caravans. I have to disagree. My parents have a caravan, says Lee Fern. And uh, we're going to weigh in it during the summer. I can't believe this is even a subject. Well, we need to look after all road users. So, you know, Lee, we've got to discuss that. John Adams, I'll take you it, says Sharice. <laughs> Lee Fern, topic, topic Lee is caravans. Um, I meet you in the forge. 20 years ago, yes, you did meet me, M-E-A-T, M-E-A-T, -E uh, in the Forge, the Forge Market. Marvellous stuff. We opened the Forge Market. Bertha King Patton is watching. What a fine lady. She is Scotty have returned, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Of course, Carl Carlos Donnelly. All of McClure's audience return. Oi, Cherise, take me out, says Andy Hughes. There you go. What about that for an offer, Cherise? You can't beat that, can you? I'm just going to now share... Um, that's asking me where do I want to share it with. Hang on, I've got a mouse here. And you know that way you have to go round and round to see where the wee arrow is. Where is the wee arrow? Oh, there it is. Excellent stuff. So we'll just share with everybody. Excellent. All right, Scott, is this Fraser Kennedy? Uh, dinky do. Dry, says Andy Hughes. Is that your sense of humour, Andy? Uh, the problem is, for example, the limit's 50 miles per hour. These folk go about 20 to 25 because they aren't confident enough trailing the caravan. I would say that's actually a very fair point, Chris. Uh, Andy, we're on it, pal. Let's go, Andy. We're hardcore, pal. Oh, Sharice, listen, I don't need to know any more. That's up to you and Andy. Right, so there we go. Excellent, that. The only thing I know about hardcore is we're a wee bit put down in the dry.
five. Rab Hill's watching Dinky Doo. Scotty, what about this monkey dust? Is it lethal stuff? Did you see the video of it? No, my hair. I have not seen the video of monkey dust. So there we go. So we need to find out a bit more about that. On it like a car bonnet, says Andy Hughes. There he goes. He's uh, obviously an old sea beer. There we are, a C beer. All right, my big darlings, is Rab. Hello, Rab. Dinky do to you. Banter, Scotty. Banter, says Cherise, of course. What happened to your chin, Scotty? Look, it's just a shave. It's a wee bit of psoriasis, and it's just a shave. I'm going to cover it up. Uh, wait till I see what I've got for my chin. If you all wait here, I'll go and get something for my chin. All right, and that'll stop you all talking about it. So there you are. Right, don't make off with any of the silver. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. So there you go. Shan't be long. Just going to get something to cover up my chin. Excellent stuff. Right. What about this? A scarf. That's what we're needing. Good. A nice scarf. Right. Now, okay guys. Now, what I've decided to do is get the black watch over the chin. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And that will keep people quiet from making a comment about my chin. So there we go. Uh, right, I take it you're back, McClure, big man. Nobody likes the records. I play. Derek Jimmy Walker, Dinky Do. Excellent to have you with us. There we go. I'm just covering up the chin, guys. So I've cut myself shaving. And everybody keeps talking about it. So if we do that, is that working? Is that quite good? So there we are. Excellent stuff. Stephen Moon is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Stephen. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet who cut himself shaving. Welcome to the Antique Road Show, says John Adams. Speak for yourself, John. Uh, hello, Scotty, says Derek. Jimmy Walker. Lovely to have you with us, Derek Jimmy Walker. And um, where's the eyes? Uh, Scotty, so there you go. The eyes have it, I see. Excellent stuff. Uh, catalogue model? Oh, yes, absolutely. Beef burger and side salad, the right pal with some horseradish. I can't wait, says McHare. I can't wait either. That sounds great. Uh, put double base gel on it, Scotty. Uh, are you out robbing tonight, says John Adams. Excellent stuff. No, no, John, you mustn't judge everybody by your own standards. I own a caravan. It's very fast, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Is it a motor caravan, Carl Carlos? Is that what you've got there? Horseradish is ace. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Horseradish is very, very good. Um, very, very good indeed. Alan Humphreys, lovely to have you with us. Ian Kerr, dinky do. And uh, how's the North Pole, Scotty? Very good. Very, very warm tonight. Uh, Chrissy Sherlock and uh, what she's doing? She's having a corned beef hash. So there you are. A yeah, cutthroat, was it? The old cutthroat? Yes, yes, Derek. You'll remember it from your old days. Um, hello, Scotty, says Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Oi, double base gel is the stuff for dry skin. I'll maybe go and get some uh, cream and we can rub that on. So there we go. Uh, the North Pole, says Sharice. Absolutely the North Pole. Wonderful stuff. Um, and uh, Sean says he's on something, uh, I don't know what it is, Tesco in Kimlin, Falkirk. So there we are. And um, yeah, a motor caravan, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Caravans are all right till you get stuck behind one. Ah, there we are. Yes, indeed. I can see how that can happen. Now, folks, share time. All right, share, 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 share. And off we jolly well go. There's the little area. Here we go. Excellent. Can you all do the same? Everybody shares Scotty McClue live the new. Wonderful stuff. Uh, a cheap razor, Scotty. No, no, very expensive razor, actually. But I've got psoriasis, you see. We've got psoriasis. Hello from Barnsley, says Lindsay Taylor. Hi, Lindsay Love. Lovely to have you with us. You send there. Very nice. So there we are. Excellent from Barnsley. And uh, I do miss you guys, you know. I did love it down at Barnsley. I'll take this off just now in case somebody thinks I look ridiculous. We don't want any of that, do we? So there we are. How's that? Does that cover up 
the chin, would you know that I'd cut myself shaving? So there we are. We'll keep it a bit of a secret. Nice hoodie, Scotty. Excellent stuff. I'm having a couple of Nelson Mandela's tonight. Eh, big man, do you fancy coming down for a few, says Machair. What a lovely offer. What a nice lady. You sensitive Jill from Avon. Good stuff. There we are. A bit of an advert there. Watch out, Scotty's about. Scotty, a wee shout out to my gorgeous Lana, please. Susan Forrest watching Lana. Dinky do from Gary Robertson. Uh, Robbie Crossan's watching and Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Dinky do. Uh, it's just, I've got this on because um, I've got a wee cut on my chin and everybody kept commenting about it. Why am your chin? Um, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. Away to the bingles. No such word as yous, except you're talking about female sheep, Charisse. So they are the plural of you is you. Hello there, Lord Scotty, says Robbie Cross and Dinky Do, Lord Robbie. Morning for a snowball fight, Scotty. Absolutely. In it to win it, says Sharice. Are you off to the bingo hen? Dinky Do, everybody share, 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 share. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one. Sharice, bah, says, uh, Andy Hughes, ciao, ciao, Cherise says John Adams, obviously, we touch of Italian, they're very nice, uh, number eight, the Garden Gates, two fat ladies, 88, there we are, uh, wonderful, that's what we like, uh, legs, 11, uh, you okay, respect to all, TC, God bless, says Cherise, God bless you, Cherise, and remember, no smoking, at the bingo. We don't want you smoking. Not good for we ladies like you, young ladies like you. Right, I'm just going to share again, guys. Can everybody share? We'll share with the uh, Scotty McClue page. There we are. Just pop that out now. Top lad, cheers of a good one. You were on my radio every night 25 years ago, says Gary Robertson. One love, bro. One love to you, bro. What's the picture behind you, Scott? He says, Jerry McGuck. That's me, Jerry. I'll just show it to you uh, because you, otherwise you won't believe me. So I've got to show it to you. Got to prove everything these days. There's so many doubting Thomases around. There you go. Can you see that? Excellent stuff. There we go. I've got my vape prepared. Yeah, you don't need to vape, Sharice. You're classy enough without any of that stuff. So there you are. Right, everybody happy. Chris Max watching. Dinky do, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. We're watching Scotty McClue. And we're live with a Friday night tea time pop-up. Jason Fives watching. Dinky do, Jason. What's the favourite? Is it salt and sauce? Or salt and vinegar. Well, do you know, Robbie, when I stayed in Edinburgh, it was salt and sauce. And when I stayed in Glasgow, it was salt and vinegar. I don't take the vinegar, but I do take the sauce. So there you are, because I'm sharp enough without the vinegar. So that's what I say. Hi, Jason Five Dinky do come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, world's top broadcaster, and we are live. Live, 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 big style. Tea time pop-up, Friday night tea time pop-up. And uh, feel free to share, everybody. Excellent stuff. Lot of folk on holiday, of course. Uh, we're talking about tonight, should we ban caravans? Carl Carlos Donnelly says, you're the best, Scotty. Carl Carlos Donnelly, you are the best as well. Uh, Ernie Ross, hello, lovely to have you with us. I'm a Ouija, and it's always been salt and sauce, says Robbie Cross, and you're a Ouija. So there you are, very, very interesting. But they don't do sauce in the Chipping Glasgow unless you specifically ask for it. To my knowledge, but who am I? Just a man who had uh, fish and chips um, at least once a day, if possible. James Cotter's... <laughs> Oh, don't, don't. One of my five a day. Excellent. Do you still own the black dog in the picture? That black dog was Lord Reith. Lord Reith has passed on, and we now have Lord Clyde. They don't say two fat ladies 88 anymore. It's got to be two fat persons, to be politically correct. And legs 11 could be a guy, I suppose. And they won't be able to go... and do the whistle. And get the laughter back in the place. You look like a monk. Brother Scotty, this is Derek Jimmy Walker. Okay, if you promise not to comment about my chin, 
I will take off the scarf. But it goes back on if people start saying, what's happened to your chin? Uh, you've got to say salt and sauce, and it has to be brune, says Robbie Crossan. There you are. Oh, I think brune sauce. Uh, there is no other type, really. You wouldn't be having red sauce with anything to do. You might have red sauce with a smoked sausage. You know, I've seen that. I've seen somebody do that, cause a sausage. It looks a wee bit red, so they don't want to put the brown sauce with the red sausage. Uh, Angela Goodless watching. Dinky do, Angela. Want a wee wave? No problem at all, and a very warm welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet with a wee Friday night pop-up just to say hi to all of you. And, of course, share and share everything with Scotty McClure on it. Now, guys, a little bit of housekeeping. Very, very big, this. Uh, you'll see the Remembrance video doing the rounds. Now, because of Emmy on this week, I would like to make sure that everybody sees that broadcast. So can you send it round? Ban the wee stupid caravans, keep the big stationary ones. Well, I think you mean the motor caravan, Ronnie. Uh, what a bummer in the smoked sausage, says Andy Hughes. Yes, the red sauce, the tomato. The tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Right? So that's the way it goes. But I've seen that with a smoked sausage. Has anybody else, can you back me up? Has anybody else seen the red sauce with the smoked sausage? Do say, come on and front up. Face up, I say. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet. This is the big one. What time are we at? Oh, my goodness me. We're about 18 minutes. Scotty, you're for me at the side of the mouth, man. Mwah. Get yourself a glass of water. By the way, what happened to your chin? I did warn you. Know, the scarf is going back on. There we go. Wait a minute. <laughs> and there we go. So nothing wrong with the chin now. There we are. I'm all scarfed up and there is not a problem. Excellent stuff. I don't think I'm foaming at the mouth, dear. I, I think you're getting a wee bit excited there. Uh, mushroom pizza crunch supper way loads of brown sauce. A mushroom pizza supper with brown sauce. What are we at? Uh, I've heard about a McClue's pie put into a roll. Um, I think a caravan makes something bred up on the roof of the seagulls battered down in the morning. Yes, yes, I see where you're coming from, Rab. How very tasteful. Ivor Timms is watching. Dinky dear Ivor. Lovely to have you with us. Carl Carlos Storley. I've seen it. Yes. Mmm, Robbie, says Andy Hughes. Now, I do have a glass of water in my hair. Chin up, man. Absolutely. Chin up, I say. Chin up. Not a problem. There we go. Chin up. And uh, excellent stuff. I've got the black watch scarf on. I had to go and get it. Because you lot were doing your nut. So there we are. Chin up. Never, ever a problem. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. Let us know wherever you're watching throughout the world. Lovely to pop up last night. I see 4,000 of you have joined me on last night's broadcast. Excellent stuff. That's what we like. So there you go. Biffy Elizabeth Smith is watching. Come on, Biffy Elizabeth, come and join us. Can everybody share? If you're watching right now, share, 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 share. Tonight we're talking about caravans. Should we ban the caravans from the road? I'm listening in from my house and shots, says Andy Hughes. Excellent. <coughs> I have a great kilt in Black Watch Tartan, says Robbie. Very nice. Box pleats on it. Uh, Scotty, what are you doing with the scarf on, says McHair? I've cut myself shaving McHair, and everybody was commenting about it. So I put a scarf on so that nobody comments about my chin. It's raining cats and dogs today, says Derek Jimmy Walker. I don't know where you're staying, Derek Jimmy, but it's beautiful here. We haven't had so much as a spit of rain. It hasn't even smurred. Uh, Margaret Primrose is watching. Uh, no one comment on his chin, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. If you don't comment on the chin, I'll take the scarf off, okay? Uh, is that a deal? Do we, do we have now? Do we have a deal? 
Do we have a deal? A deal's a deal, remember? There we go. Right, scarf off just now. Excellent. We built some ices in the chin. Uh, no one comment this chin. Quite right, Carl, Carlos Donnelly. You're getting the message, my boy. You are absolutely spot on there. 100% Carl Carlos Donnelly. Never, ever. Um, a bad moment. Rochester in Kent. Ah, oh, Derek Jimmy Walker. Yes, you're over. I believe the fish is very good in Kent. Am I right? So there we are, Rochester. Very nice. Kent. Uh, you married to a Kentish maid. Night night in shots. Lovely weather for a bottle of wine, says Andy Hughes. Wine o'clock for you, Andy Hughes. Night night. Lovely talking to you. And dinky do, I say. Vanessa Taylor's watching. Hello, Vanessa. Lovely to have you with us now. And also busy time. It's tea time. A lot of you will be getting ready to have something to eat. You'll have the reins and that. Who's that? The picture behind you, Scotty. That's me, Michael. That is me. Both pictures. Uh, wait till we see if we get you up there. You should have been watching earlier. There you are. There I am, you'll see. And there's Lord Reith the dog. Lovely big black Labrador. And uh, bless him, I say. He's at Rainbow Bridge. And uh, there we are. There's another picture for you there. There's a lovely thistle that somebody made. Decoupage. Uh, a lovely lady made that for me. I hope she is all right. Wonderful stuff. Uh, that's Scotty when he graduated from Rummy. Uh, hello, says Vanessa Taylor. Hello, Vanessa. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Rab Bruce has just joined us. Hello, Rab. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us, I say. You are watching the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. We popped up last night. 4,000 of you very kindly have joined me. Over 4,000, I think it's 4,200 of you had joined me the last time I looked at it. I've got it in front of me, so I shall be able to tell you. And, of course, keep sharing, folks. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Always, when Scotty McClure's live, we share. That's what we do. 171 of you have commented. Very, very good. Right, where is this little ladder? There we are. I keep losing it. I'm dealing with a mouse here. Somebody said that mice in with your computer are quite old-fashioned now. Is this true? I have the laptop going. Scotty, your chin's bleeding. Oh, I'll have to put the scarf on. We don't want... We have a deal with the people, you see. And uh, you can't comment on my chin. So I'll just... There we are. How's that? How's your friend, the squirrel? The squirrel's amazing. He was around today. Gordon Roddick's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. Dinky do. And uh, good to know that uh, a fellow broadcaster is, uh, is, is with us tonight. One of the country's top broadcasters. Lovely, lovely stuff. Yes, the squirrel joined us yesterday. Now, there was terrific commotion. He actually went in the window. You big dunderhead, says Paul Wilkinson. How are you, you big dunderhead? Lovely to have you with us. Sauce for the goose. Sauce for the gander, I say, Paul Wilkinson. Excellent stuff. Right, you're all watching Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Friday night pop-up. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is back big style. Now, I think you probably heard me say there are a lot of very high-level meetings taking place. I can't go into any detail, but you'll be hearing and seeing a lot more of Scotty McClue. That's all I can tell you. Stop talking about his chin and he'll keep the scarf off. Just stop, says Carl Carlos Darnley. Scott BD, Dinky Doo, does the squirrel have a name? Says McHair. I haven't named the squirrel yet. I don't know if it's a wee lady or a gentleman, but there was terrific commotion. I thought all the dishes had been smashed and uh, they hadn't actually. It was just one or two bits had fallen into the sink and the squirrel had obviously got a fright and was trying to climb up the glass. So I just thought, calm, calm yourself, wee one. It's all right. Your big mate here doesn't mean you're on here. 
And he put his wee head down, said, maybe you can't see me now. And uh, then he sat for a while. And then, as I say, I opened the door to let him out. And I think he went out, but uh, a couple of hours later, he was coming back in. He'd worked out how to get in and out the window and uh, what have you. So that was that. So he's quite happy to pop in and pop out. So there we are. And I saw him playing around on the lawn and then sitting on the windowsill. So he's obviously wants to be chums. Eddie Dobby Senior, dinky do, a wave to you. What's for tea, Scotty? Beautiful tea tonight. We're at the beef olives and the spiced ham. Very nice. Um, I'm what watching, oh, he's watching from Glasgow. There we are. Call it Nutkin, McClue. Yes, Nutkin. So, is a nut person, and he's my kin, is the wee squirrel. So there we are. Excellent. Yes, you'll see him on the Facebook page. So make sure you share everything. But guys, very important, do share the um, remembrance video and watch it because there's a lot of good stuff in there, although I say it myself. And uh, I'm addressing the world leaders, actually. So nutkin, the squirrel. That's from Beatrix Potter's Squirrel Nutkin. Nutkin the Squirrel. Excellent. We like that. It'll be female Scotty as the male watches the wains. Oh, Scott Biddy. How very advanced. So it will not be a male squirrel. It will be a wee lady squirrel. So there we are. Not the massive fluffy tail. Quite thin in the tail. Uh, what about calling it dishy? Well, my hair, you could be because... It was in amongst the dishes. What a racket. I really wondered what was going on. I've got lamb grills tonight, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Very nice. You'll enjoy that, Derek Jimmy Walker. But I bet you wish you had my spiced ham and the beef olives. So there you are. Very nice. Uh, excellent stuff. That's what I say. Now, um, if you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're not imagining things. It is Scotty McClue. I am the World's Top Broadcaster. And uh, also, I am the first lord of the internet this is a friday night pop-up just to say hi to everybody see how you're all getting on there jerry walker how have you done the lamb grills we're all quite interested in that um because uh, as i say whoops my uh, my mask has slipped <laughs> we don't want that do we so there we are excellent stuff and um, i'm just going to do some more sharing have you all shared Share, 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 and uh, I shall see, I shall share to a page. Now, what I'll do, guys, I'm going to share to a group here, and I'm going to share to the, um, uh, I'm going to share to the, share to a group. There we are. That's, that's it there. Got you. Share to a group. And I'm going to share to the Scotty McClue fan group just to let them know. So I'll put in uh, SC. There it goes. Scotty McClue fan group. And that's off to them right now. All 5,000 of them. Um, you could, you could, you could, Scotty, turn the heating up. No, no, I don't need to turn. I've only cut myself shaving. I'm not cold. You know, in fact, I'm flaming well roasting in here. So that's all it is. I've just cut myself shaving, and people were commenting on the chin. If you promise not to mention my chin, I'll take the scarf off. Do we have a deal? Somebody let us down the last time. Uh, a female fan, call it Sharice, says Derek Jimmy Walker. That'd be quite nice. Yes, Sharice for the squirrel. So there we are, a squirrel called Charisse, any other ideas on what we should call the squirrel? Also, should we ban caravans from our roads? Very, very important. Aff, says Scott Biddy. You prefer the scarf aff. Well, it's aff just now, but if people mention the chin, it goes back on, I can tell you. So that's what will be happening. Just in a bit of mutton out the soup. Lovely, jubbly, says my hair. Very nice, yes, nice and tender. If it's had a good boiling, and have you got leaks in the soup and all that? Sports tonight now on Fraser's. So does that mean you'll be able to get your sports socks two for a pound with a fancy carrier bag? Robbie Crossan, I never comment on commercial enterprise, as you well know. 
So there we are. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet. Mrs. McClue, call it. Yes, Mrs. McClue the squirrel. <laughs> Teddy Jimmy Walker. Mrs. McClue might have a word to say about that. Peter Dale Nevins is watching. Give you a wave. Hi, Peter Dale Nevins. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, what happened to your chin? Says McClue. Ah, now you said you wouldn't mention it, so I have to put the scarf on, I think, just to cover it up. Just cut myself shaving, folks. And uh, there we are. That's good. Excellent. God's sake, did you shave with a broken bottle? Paul Wilkinson, have a wee bit of psoriasis. There it's, there it's in the hand. You'll see it in the hand. Right? So that's the same on the chin. So that's that. So obviously, when you're shaving, it can get a wee bit irritated. But I'll put something on it. I thought I'd better smarten myself up to meet my public. Oh, what about that? So there you see, you wouldn't have all this nonsense if we were on the radio. So I'm going to go back to going on the radio, I think. And then that'll cut down on the nonsense. What happened to your chin and all that sort of stuff. All right, Paul Wilkinson, have you got that? I have a top of the range razor with three wee blades in it. Tremendous stuff. Gives you a shave like you never used to get in the old days. Um, call it shaver. This is Denny Jim Walker. Call the squirrel shaver just because I cut myself shaving. Mirror the squirrel, says Gary Crossan. <laughs> Very nice. Right, we've got that now. If you've just joined us, welcome, by the way. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Scotty, please don't be ashamed of your rash. Be crafty. I'm not ashamed of my rash. It was a present from my darling father, who was one of the loveliest men you could ever hope to meet, and very, very brilliant. And... Um, you know, it's genetic, the old says it's, it's the T gene. Somebody was talking about you could turn genes off and stuff. I thought, no, 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 don't, don't start all that. Just leave it. Uh, if it's female, call her not Liz McClure. <laughs> Are you not well, Scotty? Norman Miller, I am 100% well. I cut myself shaving and uh, everybody promised not to mention it. And they did mention it, so I had to cover it up. So there you are. Danny McNeil's watching. Dinky do, dinky do, Danny. Lovely to have you with us, of course. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. If you're watching in America, do let us know. Nice words for your dad. Mines gave me arthritis, says B. Crafty. Yeah, he was a lovely, lovely man. Wonderful, beautiful violinist. He was an engineer. Um, he ran a business. Um, he was interesting. He'd been six years in the Second World War in every sort of dangerous state of war, ending up in Hiroshima in Japan just after the bomb had gone off. They were sent in there. I don't think they would have any equipment or protection or anything. And yet he still lived till he was almost 74. And he had um, Addison's as well, the same as President John F. Kennedy. So there you are. But he was a lovely, lovely man. Uh, a great teacher. He wasn't uh, a teacher as such, but he was just a great teacher. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Mines was an engineer and made coal-cutting machines. Wow. These machines would have been 100% spot on me. This is what we're missing. We need to apprentice people to make these things. Frankie King's watching. Call it Razor Ruddock. This is Derek Jimmy Walker. What are you like, Derek Jimmy Walker? My goodness me. How's the time, guys? Oh, for goodness sake. It's um, 6.34. Uh, or 6.36. Somebody of 6.36. We better sue the crown and you'll be fine, Scotty. We will never forget, says Scott Biddy. Absolutely, we will not. So there you go. But guys, do shave um, do shave, do share. <laughs> You've got me at it now. You're talking about shaving. Do share the armistice video because um, I saw it again yesterday. And although I say it myself, there's a lot of great wisdom in there. So watch it and share it throughout the world. It's got to reach the world leaders. Hello from Shetland again, you bum pot. The squirrel should be called Squirrel Buck Squirrel Face, says Eamon Minery. So there you are, or Menery. How do I pronounce it, Eamon? 
What a super name. What a class name. That is Eamon Mennery. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce Eamon Mennery. Fantastic stuff, you bum pot. Right, Maggie McKerlain is watching. Thank you, Maggie. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Come and join us. As I say, you don't have to ju just go past and have a casual squint at your phone. Because are most people watching this on their phone or their computers, what are you actually watching it on, guys? Do tell. Let us know. Bit of a giveaway there, actually. Wonderful. Right, I've just shared again. Has everybody shared? Share, 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 share. Gus McPhee's watching. Hello, Gus. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the World Stop Broadcaster. This is the big one. Friday night tea time pop up. Anybody wanting a shout out? Anybody wanting the reins to be told to get on and eat their tea? Phone Scotty, says be crafty. Get Mrs. McClure to do it next time. The dead Joe Walker, what, shave? Right? Scotty, good evening. She could maybe do the shave right enough. I'll mention it to her, but I'll be putting on my tin hat. Richie McCusker, dinky do lala. Nice to have you with us. Stayed in Shetland for over a year. Lovely part of our country. Lovely part of Scotland. A uh, laptop is as bigger and I can split screen, says Robbie Crossan. Wow, aren't you the one? Nothing gets past you, Robbie Crossan. Uh, watching on phone. Slipped away to put the dinners on, but I'm back, says D Gurley. D Gurley, I love all your shares and your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I say, um, and from the heart on my bottom as well, of course, it's fantastic stuff. I give thanks. So, uh, yes, a lot of people watching the phone one Sunday night, because as you know, the main show goes out at nine o'clock on a Sunday evening. And one Sunday night, uh, somebody had messaged me to say, uh, here's Beecraft, I went to the Turkish barber. Out came the knife at the end from my throat. Gulp. Scotty, karma. Give me a big result today, says Thomas Cochrane. It will, Thomas, if anybody's done you a bad turn. And ten years ago, the only bad person I've ever met and uh, did me a bad turn, took money off me and uh, pinched a few quid. And, um, you know, no doubt you just... You just leave it, don't you? You just leave it and let the universe sort all that out, right? Bad people never prosper, okay? Uh, I'm not telling you, work it out for yourself, says Eamon, right? It's a bad day when the missus has a thicker growth than you, says Robbie Crossan. Yes, the poor beard and moustache. Excellent. So there we are. And um, a bit of karma. So it's out there. The universe looks after its own, I always say. All you have to do is wait. So there we are. I remember um, somebody once saying to me, it was a young person, and they said, how do you handle somebody that's done you a bad turn? And I said, you just make sure that they live as long as possible in the best of health so that they have to live with themselves. So there you are. Um, I should have worn a female hat, says Derek Jimmy Walker. I thought you were wearing one, Derek Jimmy Walker. I do beg your pardon. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Anyway, how's the time here? My goodness me, I don't want to keep you all back. It must be about uh, 20 to 7. Uh, hi, Tommy. How's Dean? Says Robbie Good. You're talking to each other. Stuart McKenna's. Come and join us. How fantastic is that? Welcome, 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 I say. You're all watching Scotty McClue. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. Lots of shares, please, if you're watching. Last night we did a pop-up, and I see about 4,200 of you have joined us. Marvellous. Thank you for that. It's very much appreciated. There you are. I was uh, hearing about a radio station that was in RAGR, which is Radio Joint Audience Research. They get the audience figures for radio stations. 642 says be good. Excellent me. And um, do you play bingo? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. Not on the program, Derek Jimmy Walker. You need a license for that. So no, we don't play bingo on the program, but we do take a chance sometimes. There's no doubt about that. I was saying tonight, you can't any longer at bingo say two fat ladies. You've got to say uh, two fat people. 
88 and uh, 11. I would think you can't do legs 11 and then a nice big whistle. So there you are. So uh, no, I don't play bingo. Um, the problem, I used to play poker with my Labrador, but he was giving it away when he got a good hand, he would wag his tail. And that was that. What number should I pick for the lottery, Scotty? Oh, Gary, you've got me there. Do not put that one on me, I say. That's best left to you. So there you are, the numbers on the lottery. Who knows? Amazing if that came up. <coughs> I was hearing about somebody talking about you can now access an American lottery. And tonight there's absolute millions up for grabs. And they were saying what you do that you get a super yacht and you'd buy a massive out. And I thought, no, you wouldn't. What you would do is eradicate the food banks. Step one. And then you can maybe take a wee holiday in Milford or something like that. But that's what to do if you're a lottery winner. You sit tight and you eradicate the food banks and uh, make sure that the Wains have got plenty to eat, make them big and strong. You make sure that Scottish women or women throughout the world know about cookie. You sound like you need a hot toddy, says Gordon Ritchie. Thank you, Gordon. Very kind of you. Yes, a wee touch of the Lorgay. Uh, totally political correctness, all gone mad, says Scott Beattie. I was thinking that this week. You're worth millions, says David Youngs. What a lovely thing to say, David. Yes, I am actually probably one of the richest men in the world. I just don't have any money. All right, so there we go. Well, that's what I would do with it. Uh, live off the interest, give the rest of the food banks. Your rights as be crafty. Of course, be. All this idea of thinking, if I get a big hoose, people might look up to me. Um, I'm fortunate enough that uh, people just treat me the way they've always treated me and always will. So there you are. And if somebody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's their problem. Uh, I would say priceless, says B. Crafty. It is. It's the joy of small things. Lennox Town says Finn and Kerry. What, are you talking about buying it if you win the lottery? Or are you talking about living there? McClure Towers should be a stately home. What we might do, Gordon Ritchie, if people can guarantee they won't frighten the squirrel or the fox, then they could maybe see round the house during the day. I'd buy a castle, turn it into a hotel, and donate the interest to what's left of the winnings to charity every week, says Robbie Crossan. There wouldn't be much left of the winnings if you'd bought a castle and turned it into an hotel. I can tell you. You lot that was slagging off Her Majesty the Queen for having a big hoose. That's not hers. That's ours. And they're not pleasant to stay in. And the usual idiot that goes, oh, it would make a great place for the homeless. The homeless are very vulnerable people. They would have a terrible time in these big castles. What's the portrait behind you, Scotty? That's me. That's me, Thomas Cochran. I showed everybody earlier. Have you not been watching? There you go. There's McClue and uh, Wreath the Dog. Excellent stuff. Right. So, now, that's fine. Uh, so that's what you've seen. Skint, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Yes, I've skint my chin. That's why I've got the scarf on. So there you are. I can maybe take it off now. If nobody comments on my chin, I'll take off the scarf. How about that? Uh, it would help social bites for the homeless. A win, says David Young. Yes, absolutely, David. No doubt about that. I used to have food banks. I've been working 26 years, uh, having problems in my life, having the now respect, says Scott Beattie. Yes, absolutely, Scott. Respect for everybody I see. And a half-witted idiot on, again, talking about Queen and going, I bow to nobody. And I said, well, I bow to everyone. And they went, why? And I said, out of respect. Uh, superb, says Thomas Cochran. You can buy a castle now cheaper than some houses in central London, of course. Mm. I had a friend who was an electrician. He was working in a house in London. And the guy paid £54 million for the house. And I said, was it spectacular? He went, no, really. <laughs> so, what did you graduate in, Scotty? Is I'm going to I graduated in arts. Arts, so there we are. But I have a fair bit of knowledge about sciences as well. But you can never have too much knowledge. And uh, I haven't even scratched the surface yet. So there you are. I have an IQ of 164. And I haven't scratched the surface. 
Um, I think I'll have Cocoa Pops for my tea, says Thomas Cochran. Very nice. The only thing I will tip you the wink, they do make the milk go a wee bit chocolatey. So there you are. So you get the Bruden milk. But um, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. So there we are. Cocoa Pops for tea. Jackie Williams is watching. Dinky do. Dinky do. A late plate of wheat bangs. You can't eat it. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we've popped up just to say hi. The new. With a Friday night tea time pop up. You can't go wrong with that, guys. I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, how's Jackie doing? We'll give you a wave, darling. And uh, nothing wrong with that, I say. Now, tonight, can you all share and share and share? If you're feeling flush talking of money and you can spare a fiver or a couple of pounds, pop it into Scotty McClue's PayPal. You'll see it on Scotty McClue's website and the website you'll see sitting at the head of tonight's program header. Is it toast and cheese or roast and cheese? It's never, ever, Eamon, roast and cheese. It can be toasted cheese or roasted cheese or cheese on toast or uh, toasted cheese. If you're just having that, if you're just having toasted cheese, but it's cheese on toast or um, roasted cheese on toast, right? That's how you would say it. There we are. That's not politically correct. That's grammatically correct. All right. Have you got that? Sorry if you're getting my pus living a bit big. I'll move myself away from you. Give you all a wee chance. How about that? There we go. Excellent. Is that better? Right. So that's what I would say. What does everybody else think? Do you all agree with me? Cheese on toast. Would you like cheese on toast? It's very clear. There's great clarity there. Corn chicken burger wrap for me with a wee salad, says uh, Robbie Crossing. Yes, so I take it you're a vegetarian, Robbie. You don't do the meat. You're not a carnivore. And uh, that's the thing. I remember somebody saying, oh, um, what, what I, do, I don't eat meat. And I thought, all right, so I'm having chicken for my dinner tonight. You get that, you know? <laughs> You can't beat it. Scotty McClue badge sitting here, I've just noticed. Hold it up for you just to let you see it. There we are. A Scotty McClue badge. Isn't that great? You'll see it backwards, guys, uh, from the days of 96.3. How marvellous is that? Is it Welsh rarebit? Is Welsh rarebit roasted cheese? Yes, Welsh rarebit. Well, not quite, because what you'll probably do with a Welsh rarebit is um, perhaps put a bit of egg in with some grated cheese, a little bit of um, sauce, the proprietary sauce. There we are. And uh, you might mix that up and um, then pop that onto your toast. And uh, you've only done one side of the toast under the grill. Pop it on and grill the rest. That's what I would say. Roasted cheese, that's posh. Um, yes, I don't, I've never had roasted cheese. It's always just been cheese on toast. That's what I would have. I eat nothing with a face. So there you are. Is there not a wee face on the corn? Do you not sometimes get a wee face on that? I saw there's a wee face on sausage the other day just to help the children gobble it up. So there we are. So nothing with a face. And uh, is this to save face, Robbie? Uh, so that's that. I want one of them, says B. Crafty. What, one of what, dear? Do I toast the cheese or oh, a Welsh rare bit? Yes. Um, I think you can probably do an egg with the, the cheese, mix it all up and get a nice mix, spread it on the toast. Worcester sauce, good stuff. That's it, Rab, you're quite right. That saves me saying the brand name, Worcester sauce. Yes, excellent stuff. When you go into a restaurant, ask if they do veggie, they always ask you, do you want fish? <laughs> what part of the ground does that grow in? Something fishy about that, Robbie. I would say Richard Palmer's watching. Thank you, do. Uh, know your badge. Oh, you want a badge? Oh, gosh. There they are there. And see it? Charity nights. They go for an absolute fortune. A Scotty McClue badge. Marvellous stuff. Excellent stuff. Plants are living organisms. Yes, Thomas Cochrane. Robbie, every time you bite into your letters, it squeals. It goes... Mon the caravan, says John Wilson. No smilers then, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Yeah, the wee smilers. It doesn't go, is that the chicken nuggets? 
So are the smilers. Am I right? Am I right? Have I got that right? Do correct me. If my clue gets anything wrong, you correct me right away, guys. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue broadcasting live with a Friday night pop-up just for you to say dinky-doo. It's actually time I wasn't here. I hadn't realised the time had gone at such a rate. Guys, it's been lovely to be with you tonight. Thank you very much. Dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. Join us on Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. Scotty, that's her back. I better go because she doesn't like me talking to strange men. Okay, McHale, no problem at all. Dinky-doo, camera ha ooh. Uh, save the coup and eat a carrot. Potatoes all round, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Scotty McClure is going to sing you the song. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of waiter Zane. Au revoir and a cheery o. ta -da, lads. See you Sunday night. Have a great weekend. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClure has left the building. Um.